not a very good angle, I have to say. However, never mind, it's life. And I'm sat in the kitchen at the table, peeling hard boiled eggs. And that's my life right now. <laughs> I thought I'd just come on for a little bit of chat. Tomorrow we're off to Kent. First of all, I've got Slim Wild in the morning. So fingers crossed I've lost some weight this week. So far, nine and a half pounds in three weeks. Back home for some lunch and then we're off to Kent. And we're going to Kent for the weekend. We are going to see the girls, going to see Chris's girls and the grandchildren, but Ava, she is, how old is Ava? She's going to be 11 this year. She's in, she's in a production, so we're going to see her at, I can't remember the name of the theatre. Um, usually we stay with Amanda, but this time Chris has booked us into only a little travel lodge just so that we've got a little bit of our own time um, as you know with our big family dogs grandkids we don't have any our own time um, so yeah we're just gonna have a little bit of a chillax well I say that with bated breath because Friday we're going up Friday night in the hotel then get a bit of breakfast Saturday morning to Alison's because dad's got to put her blind up there's always jobs for dad to do then Saturday after that we're going to Amanda's and then I think about half four something like that we're making our way to the theatre and then we will be back drop people home and then back to the hotel for some more chill time and then Sunday I think we're then going to Amanda's for breakfast on Sunday yeah, looking forward to it that's going to be nice so Chris is currently he's gone out to the shops to pick up some bits because my son is coming here to look after the dogs um, so he's gone to pick him up some nice bits to eat like some steak and dark sort of things that he really likes so um, get that in for him because he's doing us a massive favour and um, it's only our dogs here we haven't got any boarding dogs here and so Hannah's coming round to Day. This is a little bit goggledy gucci mishmash, I know, but Hannah's coming around today. Lennox starts nursery about 12 today, um, so she's going to pop in and have some lunch. I thought I'm going to do um, egg crest sandwiches. I love egg crest sandwiches, just don't like peeling the eggs. Yeah, but you can't have one without the other, can you? I'm going to get on and peel these eggs, and I'll chat later. <music> just say I'm loving this chopping board I got this in Lidl's a little while ago um, but it's got this bit that you slide in and out so you can do like your chopping of your bread or whatever on here scrape the um, the bits to go in the bin into here then this slides out and then straight into the bin I'm loving it so one two three four five down and some more to go just sat enjoying the sun it's about what just gone three I suppose just gone three o'clock it's ten past three mm. so it's having a nice glass of something cold in the garden the wind is getting up can you hear it you probably can hear it actually and maybe even see it but we always catch the wind here, it's only got a little bit of wind and we catch it here. Yeah, we do. Yeah. It's like living in Kansas. It's Kansas windy. Um, no, Chicago, Chicago. is known as the windy city. Yeah, I know that, but I think Kansas is quite a windy place, isn't it? I have no idea. If you live in Kansas. If you live in Kansas, can you let us know? Let us know if it's windy. Or just let us know what the weather's like where you are. Yeah. It's lovely here though. I will actually insert a photograph. We were out here in the garden on Monday. Yeah, Monday yep. with Hannah and Luke. Yep. And we literally weren't out here for long, but we had some lunch outside. And um, I was really stupid. I didn't put any sun protection on and my face got 
quite burnt. I feel a bit like a crocagator now. That all rough. But Chris, I tell you, his head got really burnt. And um, it was really, I mean, we didn't realise at the time, did we, at no, all? No, no. But his head blistered and it wet and it was, oh, it was horrible. We went down to the, see the pharmacist um, to see what they suggested doing. But so you'll see it from the picture that I pop in, how bad it was. So he's like got his hat on. Um, as soon as it goes indoors, it takes it off to let the air get to it. The pharmacist suggested just keeping it clean, not putting anything on it. Um, apart from like when we went to bed last night. Oh, and to moisturise it, yeah. And drink plenty of fluid. That's right, but not to sort of, it, it, just keep an eye on it. But it's looking okay. It really is looking okay. And actually, I'll take another photograph and show you how good it is just since. When did we go to pharmacy? Yesterday. Yesterday. So just in that day, yeah. it's got a lot better. We did yeah. put a little dressing on it last night when we went to bed. Purely and simply because the night before it wept a lot. And especially where, you know, you move your head around at night and you're not aware that you're doing it. And obviously it was breaking the skin and... Yeah, it made a mess of the pillowcase. Not that that's an issue, it was more your head, but it made it even more sore, I think. Yeah, it did. So we put like a special dressing on it last night and um, that protected it through the night. Took it off this morning, didn't we? Might put another one on tonight. I think we should yeah. have another one on tonight yeah. and then it might be dry enough to... Go without. Yeah, yeah. yeah If yeah. not, we'll take it. Take for it away. the following night as well, yeah. 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 So, oh, where's the sun gone? It's gone in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Elsie's loving. This is her spot. I'll show you her spot in the garden. It's her spot in the garden. Elsie. Hey, you beautiful girl. That's awesome. Look at those ear rolls. Look at those ear rolls. Hi. Yeah, hi everyone. So we've been to Slimming World and we both did really well. I lost a pound and a half and Chris, you lost two pounds, didn't you? So in four weeks now, because this is like our fourth week, um, I've lost 11 pounds and you, Chris is literally half a pound away from a stone. So hopefully that'll come next week. Um, but we're now on our way to Kent. So every now and then I'll update you, sort of tell you exactly where we are, but the weather's a bit rough today. Wow, it's it's cold, it's grey and it's miserable, but that's not going to stop us having fun. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, hi, so we're in the room. So we've literally just come to a travel lodge, just cheap and cheerful, because uh, we wanted to see Ava in her performance. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the room. I'll show you around the room. Um, it's very clean, very basic, but very clean and comfortable. So as you walk in the door, so here's the door. As you walk in the door, um, straight in front of you, Mr. Sparkle. Now there's somewhere here just to hang your coats up and your clothes look. A full length mirror here and here I am. TV up there on the wall. Bed here. Let's see if this one works. This light as well. Yep. So you've got like a little cubby hole on your bed to maybe, I don't know, put your phone or put a drink or pop your book. View. We've got a view of uh, part of the dockyard over there. The old um, chat part of the old Chatham naval dockyard. A little table, sort of like make do dressing table, kettle there, made a coffee, menus there to, for breakfast and something to eat. Hi. I've yet to unpack. I intended to do a pack for the weekend video and I didn't get around to doing it. So I'm actually going to do unpacking for the weekend to show you everything that I bought with me. It's adequate, you know, it's... Uh, how much was this room? It was only £50, on not it, mate? £53 a night, so, you know. Um, and we wanted something here in this location. So you've just got, like, a wet room here. Wet towels there. Toilet 
toilet, hand basin, big mirror there. Um, so, you know, it's fine. For what it is, it's absolutely fine. And the bed, does it feel cosy? Oh yeah, that seems all right, yeah. Okay, so I'll catch up with you a bit later, guys. Right, so everything's sort of out now. Um, so I've just put a few things up here, like uh, body lotion, dry shampoo, hairspray, deodorant, Chris's razors there, toothbrushes there, makeup's here, and skincare here with a hairbrush. And I've just hung up some of our clothes here. they can absorb 100 times their size, so by putting fluid on afterwards, it helps your skin. It's gonna go over the Declior oil tonight. Um, this is the lavender oil. Just gonna put some of that in my hands. Warm the product through. Oh, get a big sniff because it, you know, it's a mindful thing as well. If you smell the aromatherapy oils, really does help, really does help. And then just apply this to the wet skin. My um, Olay 7 Effects 
eye cream, this one. I'm really liking this one. I mean, I've used, you know, part of it. That's quite unheard of with me. If I don't like an eye cream, I use it a few times, then that's it. But this is really nice. Now I'm going to brush my hair and I will put it up, my hair bubbles in the other room but I've got some argan oil here which I got from Poundland and I'm just going to pop some of that in the ends of my hair because today I did actually um, use the tongs on my hair so you know the ends could be a bit dry and I just want to protect them a bit more. So, I'm going to pop my hair up for the night. So, some of the argan oil into my hand. Again, warm the product up. And then this literally just goes into the ends of my hair. take it up onto the root or anything and I won't brush it again now so that's in the ends so I use my fingers to just sort of comb it through the ends and then I'll just pop it up into a little ponytail bun type thing and uh, this will all be absorbed into my hair and how to protect it so that my lovelies is going to be my nighttime routine for tonight while we're away sometimes i do more i never really do less in all honesty um i'm just going to rinse my cloth out now so i'm going to say good night and i will see you all tomorrow but i will probably start editing what i've done so far the footage i've got so far purely and simply because there's quite a bit um, and I think I'm going to do it as a part one and part two because we haven't even got to Saturday yet. Yeah. So I'm going to do a part one and a part two. So my lovelies, this is part one and until part two, I'm signing off. See you soon. Bye.